possibilities. Like, let's just say, let me go back to this and I'll undo again. Let's say that I wanted to do a simple curve. So I'm going to, again, with the trackpad, if I want to do a nice sweeping curve, you know, that's, that's hard to get, I'm trying to do a really, it's really hard to get smooth. I'm not exaggerating, that's just really hard to get smooth. Now I'm gonna pick up my pen and I'll do a sweeping curve and it's much easier to get a nice proper arc gradient, whatever it is, whatever shape it is you're trying to do. Um, you know, I wanna do a squiggle with the pen versus a squiggle with the mouse or trackpad, it's a totally different thing. So. If you're into this kind of thing at all, highly recommend you can get tablets from other companies. Now, a lot of people make them. I have never worked with anything but the Wacom tablets. They're, I don't know if they're even the most expensive on the market anymore. I know at some point they certainly were, but, um, but given how long these things last, I would say buy one of these. Anyway, with all that said, okay, back to this. So, uh, so I'm gonna pretty much use the pen for everything else now because it's just so much more fun to be able to do that very subtly on there. So going through these basics, we have all these basic shapes in here. And if you look under the presets, you got pencils, you got crayons, pens, and let's just, just grab some of these. I'm gonna keep undoing this to clear out the, uh, the canvas on here with the, let's go to pencils and choose one of these. You'll see that there's even hardnesses. So there's like the a 5H pencil, a 4H, 3H, HF, HB pencils. So really, really precise stuff in here, right? Just really depends on what you're doing. If you're doing all this kind of pencil art and you're used to working with real pencils, then you probably can tell the difference. Honestly, I look at these and I can't, it's a little bit darker to me, but that's about it. But again, for those who do this sort of thing all the time, I think these differences are pretty, pretty clear. Uh, crayons, you've got like chalk, you've got square pastels, you've got a wax stick. This one's kind of cool. Watch, watch what happens to the wax as I push on it. It kind of squishes the wax around. Isn't that neat? Really effective and quite uh, realistic looking. I mean, that, if you've ever played with a wax crayon and just like playing with your kids, you start scribbling and it just builds up like that, it's, it's kind of what it looks like, isn't it? Graphite, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, pens, inks, markers. I'm just going to grab a few more. Let's change the color in here. Let's go for like a red. And I don't know. I'm just going to click and drag on a few more of these just so you can kind of see what some look like. And then we're going to get into how to modify these and totally customize them because, of course, if this is something that you do, while it's nice to have their presets, being able to choose your own, make your own, is certainly much more interesting. Well, let's go ahead and add one more color in there. Go for a nice bright blue and see what we get in there. It's nice, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. And sprays, and then there's favorites. So if you mark something as a favorite, it'll show up under here. The way you do that is let's just say that, I don't know, this one's my favorite. I right click on that and it says add to favorites. That was the gel pen 0.6 millimeter. Go back to favorites and there it is, gel pen 0.6 millimeters. And there we go. So we have all of those. Just like with the other tools, you have a few saved presets over here that you can grab to. Um, but given the extents of these presets in here, I think you're most likely gonna be just grabbing from this list, um, this list here. And actually you can, oh yeah, cool. You can drag and drop these into here. So if you have ones that you really want quick access to, you can drop them into there. So the controls that we have on the surface don't seem to be very big. Let's go back to basics and let me just choose a reasonable size basic one here. And also I'm gonna clear this out and I'm gonna show this to you again later. You know, I'll just show it to you now. There's the color fill. This is how I'm gonna fill this up with white. I'm gonna to go to color fill. I'm gonna set this to white and I'm going to click. Hey, wait a minute, what just happened? I click, no, that wasn't it. Click, nothing, did it, click there, no. Watch this, notice if you see carefully, if you look very carefully, you see when I click it says tolerance. It's at zero because I haven't dragged it. What you're doing is you can click and drag out. And as you drag out, it grabs more and more types of data to fill in. If you want to fill up the whole thing, I can just do that and boom, it's done. Undo that. If I went into, let's say I wanted to fill in this red, I could expand the tolerance of that. And then we get to a point where the whole thing goes away. Um, but it's just kind of an interesting paintbrush in here. Normally with, or a bucket rather, normally with buckets, if you where like in Photoshop and you click the bucket tool, you would have a tolerance number that you punch in and then you click and it will say things like contiguous or not. And you just set those settings and click on it. Here instead it's a click and drag. And now that I've said contiguous, there doesn't appear to be a non-contiguous option on here. Um, it seems to be more about, yeah, it's more about just the, the tolerance. It gets to a point where it fills in pretty much everything. Um, so if you wanted to fill in like this gap right there. Actually, let's see, if I wanted to fill in that gap with brown, well, it, well it's, it works. If I go out too big, then it expands out non-contiguous, I guess kind of, sort of, but it's really, it's about. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.